So police cars are lighting themselves on fire. Haven't we already heard about this before? Yeah, so this uh, is a story that kind of I hear about every now and again, and this time it happened in Quebec. Uh, basically, this is an extremely common occurrence. When you have an internal combustion engine vehicle and you park it on the side of the road when there are dry conditions, it pretty much almost always results in this. Oh, that's because the like catalytic converter gets super hot and then it touches like dry grass and then it starts a fire. Right. And so it's very often a cop car uh, because either it's been speeding to pull someone over or it's parked idling for quite a while on the side of the road. And yeah, if you have some brush or something sticking up, it can sp spark a fire, which then will light some more grass on fire. And then finally, it'll find its way up to the gas tank, which is just sitting right there waiting to be caught on fire and That's dangerous. And then your your police car lights on fire. And it's a very common occurrence. Police cars light on fire because of this all the time. And again, I just want to point out that this wouldn't happen with an EV. This is another really good point to bring up to your police chief when you're trying to convince them to switch to electric vehicles. Because cop isn't always going to be thinking about like, okay, my catalytic converter temperature is definitely going to combust the grasses if I pull over on the side of the road. They're just thinking about pulling someone over. Yeah, they're busy. And yeah, no part of an EV is going to get this hot except for maybe the brakes, depending on how you drive it. If we want to change this world of ours. Which we do. Then we've got to spread information like this. And you can. We've made these clips short and easy to share. Just click on the share button down below, copy the link and paste it into an email or your social media. Now you know.